It is a staggering number. 24% of U.S. adults have arthritis, making it the leading cause of work disability. Medical care and lost earnings top $300 billion, according to the CDC. As we continue our Living with Pain series, ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould explores treatment options. I know you want to play. Let me look. Vestavia veterinarian Dr. P, as he's called, works to make his patients more comfortable. And many times that means right here on the floor with them, like four-year-old John retired from military duty. A 2017 accident left Dr. P with an injury that led to arthritis and pain. It just got to a point I needed to be able to feel comfortable. I needed to be able to work on my patients, and it was either retire or get something done. That something was hip replacement. It was popping out like this on me. Now walking down the hall, he doesn't feel like his hip is being dislocated. I have three pieces of metal in my hip. A total knee and total hip replacement uh, is one of the highest patient satisfaction surgeries that we perform. Um, and it's done for the instance of arthritis in the majority of cases. But Dr. Evan Karstensen, an orthopedic surgeon with Shelby Baptist, says surgery is a last resort. Our arthritis really, we found, uh, requires a multimodal approach to treat. Losing weight can relieve a lot of stress. You know, I tell my patients very frequently that just while walking, their knee is seeing about four times their body weight going through that joint as they're walking. If you're running, about nine times your body weight. So it's a lot of force that the knee is seeing. Exercise to strengthen joints and muscles, bracing, medications, and steroids are all tailored to a specific patient. In some cases, psychological issues are a factor. You know, we, we see a lot of patients who have depression and those, those folks that also plays a large role in the orthopedics world. Um, there's a lot of orthopedics research in the depression realm that shows that they have worse, you know, uh, outcomes and higher pain scores. Dr. Karstensen says there may be a genetic link to the cause of arthritis, but researchers don't have all the answers. No. <laughs> For patients like Dr. P, surgery gave him relief. I hate to use this cliche, but I definitely feel like a new person. Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News. Coming up this evening at 4, we look at the causes and treatments for neuropathy, another very common source of pain for millions of Americans.